So today I will talk about murine models in pancreatic cancer and why it is important still to have the genetically engineered mouse model uh, to study oncogenic pathways. And it's actually an excuse because today is the last day of Marlene. <laughs> work. Uh, so in, in this time when we talk about uh, retraite, uh, uh, you know, it happens as well. You know, some people uh, go and stop uh, uh, their work to continue to their next life. Uh, but I want to explain my view of uh, what I think Marlene has brought as a scientific contribution to uh, our field. So it won't be the full, you know, things of everything you've done, just what um, uh, what I think uh, is more important for my field, and I'm really sorry if uh, you know some things are, are not uh, completely uh, this, um, explained. So, all in all, what you've done during your career is to work on pancreatic cancer. We all know it's a, a dramatic disease uh, that have a poor prognosis, uh, increasing incidence, no treatment, um, and this cancer comes from the exocrine pancreas. So you started to work on um, mouse pancreas, but also pancreas from other, you know, um, I mean, veal, I mean, veal extract, other, you know, animals. But you started by studying the exocrine function of these cells. And that's what I, the story I want to explain you, how by studying the function of uh, these differentiated cells, Marlene came up with, uh, uh, I think, a very important discovery, which make uh, a step in the understanding of pancreatic cancer initiation. So the very early studies were on studying the regulation of secretion of, um, of these exogrine cells, which are one of the um, part of the pancreas, which is important to secrete digestive enzymes. You can see here the ultrastructure of the acinar cell, where you have like uh, the apical side, um, and the, um, uh, on the apical side, these uh, secretory granules, which are, I mean, uh, here to um, secrete uh, the digestive enzyme. Actually, the discovery of this, uh, of this ultrastructure was, um, I mean, I mean, <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, I, I like to talk with my hands, so I, I feel a bit. Uh, I think I have Italian genes. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, I mean, the, the discovery of this infrastructure was, I mean, the uh, basis of a Nobel Prize um, by a Hungarian person who is called uh, George Emil Palad in the 1974. So what you've done, Berlin, to, to at the early of your research is to study the secretion of these cells and to, to clone a receptor, which is a CCK cholecystokinin receptor, which you shown later on that was important to uh, promote the secretion of the um, digestive enzymes. And from this early work, you have uh, decided to create a new mouse model transgenic mouse model to express ectopically, you know, this receptor uh, in uh, exocrine cell and as in our cells to study how this receptor would um, uh, promote uh, exocrine pancreatic secretion. And that's how I think you come up with one of uh, your biggest achievements uh, to the first evidence of transdifferentiation of as in our cells. Um, at the time, you didn't know how important it was, but you described in this article, and some of uh, people can uh, recognize uh, also other contributors to this uh, to this work. So I, I was doing my PhD when Marlene was working on that. And as you can see here, this is um, uh, uh, an example of the article where you can see these are acina cell which look normal. And you see some of the cells start to lose this uh, basophilic uh, staining, and you can see that the secretory, you know, granules are not uh, normal. But in some mice, you have like this type of features, which are um, a thinner cell. We start to to take phenotype of uh, ductile cells, and they are also positive for secret. I mean, some secretion uh, markers, and that's was really uh, important because when we describe pancreatic cancer, we actually say pancreatic adenocarcinoma, and the histology of this cancer is a ductal histology. 
So, I mean, all the doctors say that this cancer was, was coming from the duct cells and not from the acinar cells. So these findings um, was putting, uh, you know, a, a, a big stone uh, to say, OK, maybe it's not the duct cells, maybe acinar cell can be plastic and can be at the origin. So after this uh, work, there's other people, I mean, uh, in the world, who have also demonstrated that. And I show you one example here, when you can see when you take uh, acinar cell, you put them in culture ex vivo, you can see that the acinar cell can spontaneously make duct cells. And later on, this process was really described as we say, adeno to ductal metaplasia. And this is an example of uh, the latest article of Marlene who is on bioarchive, but uh, hopefully, I mean, uh, the, the person who, who has from this way, delete some of the key protein, uh, protein you can also prevent this uh, acina to delta metaplasia. So that's now the, um, the um, uh, history, the book, you know, what's, uh, what we describe in the initiation of pancreatic cancer and this first step of acina to ductal metaplasia this is a nature review uh, from uh, 2017. So next I want to show you also what we've done in the later uh, uh, years with Marlene, because, you know, we've worked quite closely in the last five years. So it's quite clear now that acinar cells, which are facultative progenitors of this tissue, are some of the cancer initiating these cells in pancreatic cancer. It's also well known that uh, it comes with uh, interesting factors, which are mut mutation of keras, that the inflammation can accelerate that, and uh, Marlene has done some work on that as well. But um, what she has helped us, us as well when I started uh, to work uh, in Toulouse as a young researcher uh, in INSERM is to show that um, Pierre-Fricanes Alpha was really key to promote this first step of pancreatic cancer, which is acinar to delta metaplasia. And because Marlene has already imported all the Keras model, we were able to do this experiment very quickly. And she has worked closely with uh, with Roma. Uh, as you may know, Roma is my first PhD student. <laughs> so, and she has helped us to set up this uh, inflammation uh, assay, which uh, helped us to to publish. I mean, in this very really nice article, which I think uh, is quite an important discovery to stop uh, the initiation of pancreatic cancer. We talked about prevention strategies. We don't know how it will be used, but maybe, you know, uh, we can think that Pierfricanes alpha inhibitors can be used to prevent this uh, disease. Very, uh, um, very recently, there's some science paper which talk about this plasticity of fascinar cell as an important process as an epithelial memory inflammation, and this is important, um, increasing the risk of getting uh, pancreatic cancer development. But what I want to talk about as well is the very recent um, uh, findings. And I have to say that uh, I presented during a seminar like two weeks ago, and I said to Marlene, I apologize because I think what we are finding is we are destroying what you showed. <laughs> this very, very simple thing with Asina to ductal. And what we've done in the last five years, we've also teaching and we were presenting like that. And now we think we, we should not present it like that. And that these acinar cells are even more complicated because when we have access now with single cell RNA sec to the whole diversity of the cell, and this is actual we our our data, and we can see this acinar cell here, they are not all equal, and there are clusters of cells which are different different. And what we've been uh, hypothesis, uh, hypothesizing that these different uh, clusters of cell might um, behave differently when keras is expressed, okay? And this different level of uh, differentiation could be important, I mean, to regulate this plasticity, but also an another way to uh, protect for from cancer initiation as well. And we are very early, you know, findings. I mean, this is a leftover experiment from Roma, <laughs> where we, we could see that of, of when we, okay. I'm not so. <laughs> uh, 
when we blocked PFKNase alpha here, you know, we move PFKNase alpha, we block this transdifferentiation, one type of plasticity of acinar cell, but we also increase proliferation of the remaining acinar cell. And what we didn't know at the time, and now I I'm quite convinced, and we are finishing these experiments with Coralie, is that what it changes is uh, another type of plasticity. You know, the cell uh, changes differentiation states and they start to proliferate to regenerate the tissue. OK, but um, before now we have the data, but uh, five years ago, Marlene helped us to uh, write a grant, which uh, was really important for my lab. I got an energy researcher for that. And that's what we are studying, how this uh, plasticity between the different uh, differential state is important for pancreatic cancer. So. Uh, to conclude, uh, I'm really convinced, and I think also uh, Marlene's work and career shows that it's still critical to use this mouse model uh, to understand uh, oncogenesis. Uh, it's really important to perform lineage tracing. We've seen a very uh, nice example in the presentation of uh, Sandrine before as well, to see all these differences pre leukemic stage. But I mean, here's also an example in pancreatic cancer. It's really important to understand the multi-step process from cancer initiation to cancer progression, and also to study systemic res response as part of the work that Marlene has done, which I have not described. Um, glycemia is also changed. I mean, nutrition also changed the biology and the, I mean, the history of the cancer. And this is a really important thing that we can only study in mouse model and ex vivo is going to be a bit more complicated to uh, continue to have this uh, systemic uh, regulation. And it's all the more uh, important in pancreatic cancer that access to early steps is still difficult. So uh, conclusion, thank you. I, I could thank lots of people for this work, but uh, today I'm just going to thank Marlene. Thank you. Oh, hell yeah.